What's going on, people? Jada Black here. Y'all know I talk about these thoughts. or well, I like to call them thizots. And I speak on their nature and the things they do, how they move, how they, they like to expose guys, how they like to keep themselves relevant by showing their assets as much as possible. Well, apparently, Amber Rose wants to go back to her strip club days. She says she misses how <laughs> she misses the smell and feel of her assets clapping. <laughs> That's what she's saying, people. You see, what this is with Amber Rose is that she misses the, you know, she misses being a low key uh, slut because, you know, she does the slut walks because she feels like people have been slut shaming her for all these different dudes that she constantly with. But I think she's one of those females, okay, that lucked into a situation with Kanye West. She lucked into that. She was one of the first strippers to ever get date, get wifed up by a rapper, okay? And become well known from it. This is why you got, you, she basically paved the way for the Black Chinas and some of these other females, you know? And, but I also think that at heart, you know, she actually did, because you can even ask her. She says she always enjoyed being a stripper, that she doesn't regret anything about being a stripper. She was a stripper since she was 15. But I think she really liked being able to go to those clubs and and be able to dance for those guys and make money from that and be a low-key thought. You know, she can date whoever she wants, sleep with whoever she wants. And I think that because the 15 minutes is waning, nobody's really checking for her like that. The only time you hear about her is when she's dating somebody new or when she's doing a new slut walk. But other than that, I mean, she has no prospects when it comes to being in the entertainment industry like that. Like, there's other females who have the same similar route as her, but they are going more into music like your Cardi B's and some of these other females. So she really has no place anymore. You know, she doesn't go viral like she used to, you know? But apparently, she's missing being back in club. This is according to uh, Hot New Hip Hop. Amber Rose seemingly has been living a good life according to the popular sense of the term, which pri uh, prioritized financial wealth over other kinds. Still, the entertainer misses her struggle days, the period of her employment as a successful stripper. Rose flaunted some of her casino winnings on the ground. Her caption combines humor with the unexpected admission. She uploaded a clip flaunting her bling, manicured nails, and feigned out bills, writing, I won this money on the slot machine today, or tonight, but honestly, I wish I earned this at the strip club, clapping my assets. I miss the pole, the smell, and the feel of it, the money falling on my body, and the reaction I used to get as I walked on stage. Sometimes I wish I could go back, but now I just... <laughs> Clap my assets and privacy in my home. Yeah, sure you do. You know what's interesting is that Wiz Khalifa tried to wife her up. And I think some of these guys she's dated after that has probably told her they love her. They want to wife her up. That's probably why she leaves them. Um, because when a woman gets bored and she no longer feels anything for you that's new, She's going to be out of there. That's what Amber Rose, you know. I think that uh, with her, I think, again, she misses when she was able to be a low-key thizzot. She misses when she could just go to the clubs and, and do that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's who she is. When you listen to her talk, she you can tell she, she seemed like a very low-key person. But the reason why she's public now is because that's how she's making legit money to where she ain't got to go back to the pole. But we all know sooner or later these chicks gonna end up back on the pole. Even Black China went back on the pole re uh, briefly. You know? Not Black China. I'm sorry. Well, she kind of did. I heard that. Not really sure. But there's been a couple of these other, um, you know, uh, strippers who go into reality TV, end up going back to the club. The, this is who the, they are, you know? And there's, there's a lot of clear signs of chicks who miss their thought pasts because they're always reminisce about it. They'll always tell you the good things. They'll talk, they'll talk about how they traveled, how they, you know, went partying, how they met these different rappers. 
but they don't tell you about the time they slept with these guys have threesomes with these guys slept with dudes for money they don't tell you that part of it but they will tell you the glitz and the glamour because that's what they remember a lot of these reformed thoughts will always talk about their past here and there you know and they will always drop hints about their thought past on their social media you know they'll they'll be conservative one minute but they want to put up throwback pictures of when they were out partying and clubbing you know sleeping with married men you know back 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 in the good old days for them you know what i'm saying <laughs> Back in the good old days for them, when they can do all types of this out behavior, okay? But, you know, I've seen it. I've seen women, man, They, they here and there, they'll reminisce about how they just used to get it in. You couldn't tell them nothing. And that's what Amber Rose, you know, I think, I don't think, I think Amber Rose is one of those women who you should never seek to wife up. You might be able to smash her in there, but never seek to wife her up because that's not who she is. That's not who she is. And you have women like that. Women that can't be tamed. Women who want to be able to be Jezebels, basically. So when you try to wife up chicks like Amber Rose, it's going to be an epic fail. Because they don't want that. They have ADHD. Or ADHD for the D. <laughs> They got ADHD for the D. They want to move on to a new guy here and there, man. That's all it is. So never allow one of these reformed thoughts to make you believe that they want a fairy tale. No, man. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe after I've done it, but I've seen stories of women in their 40s getting butt injections and dying from it because of that mentality that they have. That they constantly have to go out there and out slore and out fight other women. This woman is getting more likes than me. I got to compete with her. Not understanding that, that a lot of men who are realistic, who can get the attention of women, who are not thirsty, they rather have a woman who's more natural, not fake. When you're dealing with a fake woman with fake assets... You know that she's only one of those types of females who can be a side piece, a jump off, not a wife. You cannot wife women like Emma Rose because they will always reminisce and want to go back to their thought past. You cannot fully change a woman from who she was. Now, I will say this, though. There are women who are able to change their ways. There are reformed thoughts who are able to learn from their their mistakes and move on from their past but it's very rare it's very rare okay i believe sometimes the best wives are chicks who went through whole phases because they done got it out their system but some of these women if they say they were married at younger ages man man i'm telling you when they when they divorce Man, you talk about a th you talk about a whole phase 2.0. <laughs> good luck with good luck trying to wife her. These chicks will be in their 30s and 40s constantly in the club. Ain't no stopping them. Ain't no stopping them at all. So you gotta be careful when you're you know guys who want to wife up chicks like Amber Rose because Amber Rose you can tell that she likes that fast lifestyle man when she's on stage dancing in front of random men every night probably going home with one of them and that's your boo <laughs> that is your boo you going home you know so she's going home with random men every other night and you and, and <laughs> she's reminiscing about that man she reminiscing about getting flown out when nobody knew who she was, man. Or going and having house parties. It's like her and like five other dudes, man. And Amber Rose, in her mind, she loved that. Because believe it or not, there are women out there that like being slurs. They like being slurs. So you can't, as a, as a man, you have to be extremely careful, man. 
when it comes to some of these women. Some of these women can tell you that they're 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 uh, born again virgins, that they're celibate. You should ask her why are you celibate. Okay, she probably celibate because she done been. <laughs> She done seen her fair share of Dizik. And because she's seen her fair share of Dizik, she needs a break. And you that break. You gonna give her all that non-sexual attention. Okay? You ain't getting nothing out of it. You just, you talking to her and, you know, you, you're conversating with her, but ain't nothing materializing because she don't see you that way. You're just there to fill a void. You know? There to make her feel you know uh wholesome again but you cannot be making no female feel wholesome these days when they're telling you or they're they're reminiscing or they're reposting posts of them partying and doing slower thought things while you sitting up there legitimizing them legitimizing who they are now even though on the surface they may seem different but on the inside they are the exact person that they always have been. And Amber Rose proves it. <laughs>